Hello, welcome to the Mean Stack JS. In this video, we're going to be talking all about release 1.5. Now, with this release, there's a ton of features, and I don't have a lot of time, so I gotta jump right into it. But for those of you who watched the last video, you know it's coming. So let's jump in. First thing, custom environments. We're really excited to give you guys all the functionality you need. We pulled out the Minify config, which is what we were holding on to last, but now we've given out all configurations on how we build the entire system. So you have the option to call your environments whatever you want now. We've also made testing possible for each configuration of the Minify, default, concat, and Minify. So you can now test that too because we heard some chatter on, hey, you know, when things went from unconcatenated to Minify, we are having some small changes we didn't see coming. So we've updated that. We've also added error handling, better error handling to be specific. On the front end, and on the back end. On the back end now, we make sure we handle uncaught exceptions better, we log them better, we also do the same with unhandled rejections, and we log and handle express errors better. So check that out. We've also provided a dashboard with errors. So if you go to the admin view and go to the dashboard, you'll see it over here as I'm talking, but we provide a lot of functionality more with errors now, which is really awesome. Next is the command line interface tool. This got a big update and we need you guys to go check it out because we need your feedback on it, see how it helps you, see if it works for your system because we tried to write a bunch of scripts that go right along with it to also help you, whether you're a beginner or you're a seasoned developer, whatever it might be. We gave you the ability to update the scripts too and change things as you want, but now you can install individual files, multiple files. You can install from a blank template or our main templates you can choose because we heard that, you know, hey, we want to just install a blank file and be done and easy with it. So heck, why not? Let's get let's give you the functionality. So we did that. We also added a bunch of installs, uh, installs for Mongo, Node, uh, Selenium Server, Post installs, Bower installs, lots of things to help uh, the beginner developers out for sure. Now, we also added the start scripts for all of them. So start Mongo, start Selenium. So if you want to do anything in the system, the command line interface tool will help you do it all. So that's awesome. We also added the ability to kill processes because we know live reloads sometimes get stuck and it just, it's the nature of the beast working with something like that. And so you need to be able to kill your processes. So we've added that on there too. Uh, seed your database, also ability to seed your database from anywhere now. Note, if you change your environment to production, it will it will see the production environment. So we also did add some uh, notifications in there if you do production or something besides development. But nonetheless, really great features. And lastly, a remove module. Instead of you having to go do everything manually, you can go and remove modules. Nope, this will remove even core modules, maybe user modules. Now, with all that being said, we did add the scripts and I wanna talk about and show them here while I'm talking. We've added some more scripts to back everything we're doing now. And they're all here. Please, if you need to, by all means, go customize them. They are not set in stone by any means. If you need to customize them to your enterprise or to your situation, do that. They're awesome for that. So lastly, the updater. We added an updater script that you'll notice in there that is going to help you update from your version of MeanStack where you're at now. We've, we're, we're still looking at going forward in the future of how can we create our own updater and merge tool to really, you know, come to our situation and know everything about what we're doing. But for now, what we've decided to do is create this little updater script to help you do a git merge and do a git pull and check versions. As long as you're not a major version behind, it'll actually do the pull for you and actually give you the commands if you need to abort and do some of those things to help the people who aren't super familiar with git, who want to stay up to date. So we've added that in there, which is really awesome. Overall, this release is really action-packed. I'm trying to squeeze it all in here in a three-minute video. Heck, I might even go over. Whoops. But between the custom environments, the errors, the dashboard, the command line interface tool, all the scripts we added, the updater in the scripts, there's just a ton of things to talk about. And we're really excited. Please go try it out. Let us know what you think about it. Um, we are we're totally looking more towards the future. And even next, we want to talk about what you should see in the next coming video is, you know, how are we going to handle teaching people? Maybe some courses, some guides, things of that nature. 
how do we handle production out of the box even better? What can we do to help you? Um, and lastly, testing. That's another thing we're really looking forward to is how can we test the system as a whole even more to give you the ability to have the ease of mind knowing as soon as I start this project, I'm already fully tested, ready to roll. I just got to update my logic I'm adding. So those are some of the things we're looking for in the future. Also some of the things we just completed in this release. It's looking awesome. Please jump on in, let us know your comments and concerns, leave an issue, leave a feature request, or get in contact with us. You can also join our mailing list now, which should pop up somewhere around here. But we also have a mailing list now, and if you need professional services, that'll be up there too for help, uh, because we realize that some people just want the help, and we wanna be there for you. So let us know. We're there any way you need us, and we're excited until next release.